Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. 90 Day Fiance Jasmine Pineda Blast Gino After Pageant Dis. 90 Day Fiance Celeb Jasmine Pineda blows up on Gino Palasolo in teasers following him, giving her pointers about improving her pageant odds. Not surprisingly, Jasmine doesn't take the constructive criticism very well setting the stage for explosive scenes. One of the many reasons that continues to bring Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo back for more franchise and spin-off scenes is the fact that Jasmine Pineda can lose her cool at any moment. For the same reason keeps bringing Angela back, Jasmine keeps viewers on their toes, wondering when she might explode next. As 90 Day fans fans have seen over the years, one slightly critical remark from Gino about anything can send Jasmine spiraling. This can also escalate into explosive shouting matches and more drama than even knows what to do with. In short, keeping Jasmine around is money in the bank for the network in more ways than one. In recent 90-day fiance scenes, Jasmine Pineda is gearing up to compete in a beauty pageant. She is caught up in the feeling of pursuing something new, which includes trying on new dresses and glamming it up. This is right up Jasmine's alley. Her confidence took a hit following things like her hair loss and more. So getting ready to compete in this beauty pageant not only gives her something to work toward, but it also gives her confidence a boost, with Gino there with her every step of the way to be her hype man. In 90 Day Fiance Happily ever after sneak peek clips, Gino Palazzolo says that Jasmine's rehearsals for the pageant are off to a rough start. He takes it upon himself to offer her what he sees as constructive feedback to help her improve along her pageant journey. However, because this is Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo we are talking about, things take an explosive turn rather quickly. Chino talks about how he filmed clips of other women in order to study how they move and to analyze what they are doing so that Jasmine can add to her arsenal. Jasmine instantly jumps down Gino's throat before he can even finish his sentence, saying that him recording other girls was bullsh asterisk asterisk. Knowing Gino's past with messaging other women, there may have been some nefarious motives behind this other than simply helping Jasmine improve. Still, if there was even the slightest chance that he did it to help Jasmine, she certainly doesn't see it that way at all. This sets the stage for even more dramatic 90-day fiance scenes ahead, as Jasmine Panetta continues on her pageant journey, with an overzealous Gino openly admiring her competition. Jasmine Pineda has never been one to hold back her emotions, but this time, her fiery personality seemed to reach a new level. The drama unfolded during a recent episode of 90 Day Fiance, when Gino Palazzolo, her long-distance love, made a comment that sent Jasmine into an emotional spiral. What started as an innocent conversation about beauty pageants turned into a scathing confrontation with Jasmine blasting Gino for what she perceived as a deep betrayal. It all began when Jasmine, excited about an upcoming beauty pageant in Panama, eagerly shared her plans with Gino. Her eyes sparkled as she talked about the glamorous outfits, the thrill of competing, and how much this pageant meant to her. For Jasmine, this wasn't just about winning a crown. It was about proving to herself and others that she still had the confidence and poise she once did. I'm so excited, Gino, Jasmine said, her voice filled with enthusiasm. This pageant will be amazing. It's a chance for me to show who I am, to embrace my femininity, and to just shine. Gino, however, wasn't as enthusiastic. He had always been more reserved, especially when it came to matters he didn't fully understand. I mean, do you really think it's necessary to do something like that at this point in your life? He asked, his tone laced with skepticism. Jasmine's face fell. The excitement that had been bubbling inside her evaporated in an instant. 
What do you mean at this point in my life? You think I'm too old for this. Too washed up to compete. Gino shifted uncomfortably in his seat. No, no, that's not what I meant. I just think maybe it's a little, you know, superficial. Are we focusing on more important things, like our relationship and the future? The word superficial hung in the air like a lead weight, pressing down on Jasmine's chest. To her, beauty pageants weren't just about vanity or appearances. They were about empowerment, confidence, and reclaiming a sense of self-worth. Gino's comment struck at the very heart of her identity. You think it's superficial? Jasmine shot back, her voice rising. So what? You don't support me. You don't think I'm good enough. Is that what you're saying? Gino, now visibly flustered, tried to backtrack. That's not what I'm saying, Jasmine. I support you, but I just don't get why this is so important to you. We have bigger things to worry about, like getting married, visas, moving to the U.S. But Jasmine wasn't having it. Her face flushed with anger, her eyes filled with tears she fought to hold back. You don't get it because you don't care about what I care about, she yelled. You think I'm just some trophy for you to bring back to America, but I am more than that, Gino. I have dreams, passions, and a life outside of you. The conversation took a sharp turn, with Jasmine venting years' worth of pent-up frustration. She felt that Gino had never fully supported her aspirations, whether they were about her career, her family, or her personal goals. The pageant had simply been the tipping point. You never see me for who I really am, Jasmine continued, her voice trembling with emotion. You only want the version of me that fits into your little perfect world. Well, guess what? I'm not perfect. I have flaws, I have dreams, and I'm not going to stop living my life just because you don't think it's important enough. Kino, taken aback by the intensity of Jasmine's words, could only sit there, stunned. He hadn't expected such a strong reaction, and now he was struggling to find the right words. I do see you, Jasmine, he said quietly. I just, sometimes I don't know how to handle everything. It's overwhelming. Overwhelming? Jasmine echoed, her voice dripping with sarcasm. You think you're overwhelmed? Imagine being with someone who constantly doubts you, who makes you feel like you're not good enough. That's how I feel with you, Gino. I'm always fighting to prove myself and I'm tired. The tension in the room was palpable. Jasmine stood up, pacing back and forth as her frustration boiled over. You say you love me, but love isn't just words, Gino. It's actions. It's supporting each other, even when you don't fully understand. You should be lifting me up, not tearing me down. Gino, now feeling cornered, finally spoke up. Jasmine, I didn't mean to tear you down. I love you. I'm just worried about our future. I want to make sure we're both focused on the same things. But Jasmine wasn't convinced. The future. Our future is supposed to be built on mutual respect and understanding. But if you can't even support something as simple as a pageant, how are we supposed to handle bigger issues? This isn't just about the pageant, Gino. It's about how you see me, how you value me. For a moment, there was silence. Both of them stood in the middle of the room, their emotions laid bare. Jasmine, with tears brimming in her eyes, took a deep breath. I'm not going to let you, or anyone, make me feel like I'm less than I am. I deserve someone who sees my worth, who believes in me. And if you can't be that person, then maybe we need to rethink everything. Gino, clearly shaken by the ultimatum, looked at Jasmine with a mix of regret and realization. He hadn't meant to hurt her, but it was clear that his words had cut deep. I'm sorry, he finally said, his voice barely above a whisper. I didn't realize how much this meant to you. I'll try to be better. I don't want to lose you. Jasmine, still angry but also emotionally exhausted, 
wiped away a tear. I just want to be with someone who believes in me, Gino. That's all I ask. The room was heavy with unresolved tension, but there was a glimmer of hope in Gino's apology. Whether or not it would be enough to mend the cracks in their relationship remained to be seen. But one thing was certain, Jasmine Pineda wasn't going to let anyone diminish her dreams, not even the man she loved.